Thank you for your purchase of the United Security Products Emergency Caller. When you receive your emergency caller, you will receive the EC4 home base unit. This is your receiver and dialer. It will come with an AC power adapter that will power your EC4. It will come with the telephone cord that you can hook up to the top of the EC4 and into your home wall jack for your telephone line. And last but not least is your single button wireless transmitter. The product will also come with a programming instructions to program the EC4 dialer with your voice message and your telephone numbers and it will also come with your owner's manual. I will now help you program the voice messages and the telephone numbers in your EC4. So the first thing we're going to do is to plug the AC adapter into the wall for your power and the other end, the connection end, goes into the top right of your EC4, the 12 VDC connection. So as you see as we plug it in, the message is not programmed, press keypad number one. So this is where we're going to enter the telephone numbers. So we push keypad number one and what we're going to do is we're going to program in the first telephone number here. So we're going to select telephone number one. It's not a pager and we're not going to do pagers here but this does uh, do uh, telephone calls to the pagers. So we're going to say no since we're going to program in a regular telephone line and a cell phone line. So the first enter number that we want to call is the local number here for the company. We don't want to dial the area code since it's a local number. And we're going to follow it up with an asterisk to end the programming session for line number one, telephone number one. So we're going to program another telephone number for the EC4 to dial. And it's not a pager. It's going to be a cell phone. And the number has to be started with a one. It's a long distance. And since it's a cell phone number, we're going to end it with two pauses. P, P, and then we're going to touch the star to end the session. So we could program in three through eight, but we just did the first two, a local line number and a cell phone number. So we're done. And now we're going to, it's going to ask us to program the telephone line. We want to program the telephone line. And the line is a tone line. Uh, very few pulse lines out there, so you will want to push one for tone. Program PBX. You don't need a PBX programming because PBX systems require a one to dial out. So most homes and businesses do no longer use a PBX. If they do have a PBX system, you will want to use number one here. But we do not have a PBX here, so we're going to do two. <clears throat> program attempts, we're going to do two. <clears throat> program messages, repeat, two. Program outgoing messages, we're going to hit yes. This is where we're going to actually program the outgoing message. No OGM. This is kind of confusing here. You're going to push no because you do want an outgoing message. Option two, one outgoing message, yes. And this is where you're going to actually record your message. The message should be written down previously, practiced, and should be somewhere in the uh, length of 10 seconds to 52 seconds. This will handle up to 52 second message. If you do run a four channel system, as in the P4S with four channels, each message can only be 13 seconds for a total of 52 for the system. So what we're going to do here is we're going to record a message. And you want to hold the R button down as you record and release it when you're done. This is Pat. I need help. I've fallen down and cannot get up. Please call me. I'm done. You can uh, record any message you want in any language. So we can hit one to hear the message. Pat, I need help. I've fallen down and cannot get up. Please call me. So we're going to accept that. Of course, you probably don't want to say call me because the person is probably not able to answer the phone. So we're going to accept that message. Disable mic, we recommend no. What this does, if you say yes, it, dis it disables the two-way uh, communication feature of the EC4. 
if, if this dialer calls one of your family or friends and your family or friend picks up the phone, they can push a one on their phone and activate the two-way conversation and then a two right after the one and they can listen in and actually speak to you if you are close enough to this EC4 to say how are you doing, what happened, who should I call. Uh, it's kind of a nice feature. So we're going to be doing no on this. We do not want to disable the mic. Program channels. We're going to say yes to program the first channel. Remember we're only doing one channel here for the P1S system that we're programming. Select one through four. We're going to select channel one. We're going to enable it. Yes. We're going to, the exit delay, we recommend a no on this. This is a delay in the uh, call that is going to be going out once you activate uh, and push your transmitter. So we say no to a delay. You want it to go out immediately. An entry delay, same thing, no. The question here is basically two. The transmitter is a normally closed circuit. The second question here is momentary or continuous. This is a momentary type uh, setup which uh, just basically sends out the uh, signals on a momentary basis. So you want to push one. The next is uh, channel one, dial one, yes. Channel one, dial two, second telephone number, yes. Outgoing message, yes. Accept, yes. So this is where you're done now. So you've programmed your uh, EC4 to call two different numbers, a local line and a cell phone and you loaded up your one outgoing message. Uh, so we're ready to uh, go and test this thing. So we're going to hit the M button. And it says mic disabled and then it goes back to test T line. We're going to hit it again and we are back to the operate mode. So now what we want to do is we want to get the telephone line connected. So we're going to put the telephone line into the top of the EC4 and it's going to go into the in position. And of course you got to have make sure your telephone line is uh, is active and this is a LAN line. We do have a cellular unit that can uh, be operated and hooked up to this EC4. It's the ACU4. We also have one of these that is a cellular unit so no LAN line is required. That unit would be mobile, you could take it on vacation and so forth, but this unit here is going to be uh, plugged into a LAN line and I will uh, show you how this thing is going to uh, work now. So I'm going to activate it and I'm really close to it so we suggest that you test it now and then set this base unit in the center of your home and test this transmitter at the farthest location you would be away from the base unit. So we're going to test it right now by pushing the button and you don't want to push that button more than five seconds. If you do you're going to wipe out all the programming in the system. So as you can see, it is calling the first telephone number that is a local line and it will deliver the message that I put in. And somebody in our office of course received that message that Pat has fallen down and he needs some help. And it is delivering the message. So now it's dialing number two. And I want to set my cell phone here because you'll see that uh, it's my cell phone that it's going to be calling. And it's a pager, or excuse me, a cell phone. So you'll see that here comes the number. I answered it. I'm going to put it on a speaker. This is Pat. I need help. I've fallen down and cannot get up. Home. So the number came through, and I this could have hit. I need help. I've fallen down and cannot get so up. So I can actually hear go push one. And as you can see, it's feedback because I'm too close to it. But the two way actually worked there. So now your unit is programmed, tested, and all you need to do now is to push the M to get back into the operate mode. And you're ready to go. So enjoy your emergency caller. Once again, if you have any questions, give us a call at 1-800-227-1592 or go to our website at emergencycaller.com. We have other sensors that can hook up to this that gets a little more complicated, but this is the basic 
one button transmitter emergency caller system that will help many people. We have many of these in the field and we're so glad that you purchased this. Thank you once again. Have a great day.